over time, what I just really had to do was I had to educate myself on education, educate myself on business, and then try to figure out how to make the two come together. I want to make it look like I don't feel like I'm working a day in my life. Like when I'm working side by side with a district, I want to be having fun. I want to want to be there. You know, if I wasn't having to take vacation days or be away from my wife and kids, you know, be away from my family, I'd almost want to go do it. If I could do it for free, I'd want to go do it for free. Education is a service industry, and we are not used to talking about money, making additional money. For me, finding that balance of what I'm offering and that's free versus what I'm offering that's paid for. You know, on my blog, I don't do any advertising and that's very intentional. Like I have the books that I've written on the side and that's enough self advertising. Look to the left and look to the right. One of those people are going to make a mistake. Try not to duplicate that. So people don't see that. They see your hour on the stage. They don't see the risk you've taken to get that. They don't see all of the challenge and the change. They don't see the pain that is the root of passion. They don't see the suffering. When I am home, I am present. I am making sure that I am on a flight. If I'm away all week, I'm home for, I get home Friday night and I'm here the weekend and I'm doing everything I can to be a good husband, a good father, a good friend. So that work-life balance is knowing when to shut down. I don't want to be known as a fad. Like, oh, every future came through with this thing and now it's no longer relevant. So I, I just, I said, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to keep it real. Um, I'm just going to share actual experiences. I know what teachers are looking for when they come to a session, what they're looking to leave with. That's what I'm going to give them every time.